Republican voters have chosen Dan Cox as their party's nominee. It is a different story for Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, though. He is refusing to back his own party's candidate. WSA 9 Scott Broom continues our coverage of Maryland's primary elections. It was no surprise that Trump loyalists turned out for Dan Cox. But some more moderate Republican voters I talked to today said Cox's criticism of mask mandates and national issues like inflation and gas prices did resonate with them. And I'm not a really big fan of Cox either with Trump, but uh, out of the two, I went with Cox. These uh, policies that are in place are just uh, killing us. But popular Republican Governor Larry Hogan today tweeted about Cox's endorsement by Trump. Trump lost Republicans, the White House, the House, and the Senate, Hogan tweeted. He's fighting for his ego. We're fighting to win. Already, Democrats released a new ad calling him too extreme. He promoted the January 6th insurrection. Maryland's former Lieutenant Governor Michael Steele once chaired the National Republican Party. Who's going to vote for you outside of a hard right Republican base? Dan Cox is not going to be able to get away with a, what do you have to lose a narrative with black voters in Prince George's County. I'm sorry, <laughs> that ish ain't going to fly. Here's former Maryland Republican Governor Bob Ehrlich on the phone today. You have a conservative base and you have the more conservative candidate who wins. That in itself is not shocking. Cox set this tone after his win last night. The progressive values of bigger government, of more lockdowns, of vaccine passports, of jabs for jobs, these are out the window in my administration. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Now on the Democratic side, the race has not been called yet, but political newcomer Wes Moore does have a solid lead with 37% of the vote right now. In second, former Labor Secretary and DNC Chair Tom Perez in second with 27%, and then State Comptroller Peter Francho is in third with 20%. Now, election results just a tap away. Scan that QR code right there with your phone's camera to access our live results page or head online to WSA9.com.